Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I'm Jenny Mann, your curator for this talk today, The Well So Before I, I talk about myself, Kasim, can you tell us uh, where you are here located in New York City, in Chelsea? Wow. Uh, first of all, I want to thank everyone uh, for joining in. It's a pleasure to work with, with Jenny Ma. I mean, I can't think of a better person to work with. And I'm just so honored and so fortunate to be working with such, a, such an awesome individual. So my name is Kasim Morris. I am store manager here at West at Hessens, West 18th Street. Uh, we are located actually at 232 West 18th Street between 7th and 8th Avenue. And this is the newest location here in New York City uh, for Hessens. And we are being outfitted to be sort of the newest concept uh, of Hessens, what it has to offer when it comes to the store layout, the product assortment, and how the beds are in the sleep spa. So um, I want to thank and welcome anyone that wants to come inside uh, the store to really experience the amazing beds that we sell and what we have to offer. So I, just a little story about uh, this location and Kasim and I, I've known Kasim for quite some years now and we did events together before. I've been in uh, with Corcoran for 17 years now. And I was for almost 16 years at our old location, which is in the village on 10th Street. We moved here last September. Our, our office uh, closed there, so we consolidated, and many of us, many of my colleagues and, my, and myself, moved here to the Chelsea location. And it turns out that our office is just upstairs next door to this location. So it's just like doubly, doubly interesting in how life works, right? Yeah, life has, has a way of, of, of connecting people together. Just a little backstory on um, why I decided to bring this well-being and real estate uh, curated talk as we, we all experienced in the past three months, especially all of us here in New York City because of the lockdown. Many things have, have changed in our way of relating. Right, and so for myself and my and by observing my friends and my business friends and colleagues, the relationship has really changed, and the way that we relate to our family, our environment, and our business. So I have been inspired by by life, by people for many years, mm -hmm. and, and uh, on a path of conscious living for many years. And because of the lockdown, by talking to many people, I was encouraged to write a book or do a program. And instead of writing a book, I wrote a program called Breakthrough Imprints. And Breakthrough Imprints is all about well-being. It's a self-care program for us to, to see our things, how we can live uh, more richer and fuller in life. And that leads to many things because our physical body is our, our first home. Once we have our interior um, self, our inner self organized and in the balance and in harmony, then we are able to have enriched relationship to our surrounding. And having said that, our physical home is our second body. So once we we it, it it's interchanging because we all have need a roof over our over our head mm -hmm. and then with the physical home the most important part of a physical home is actually the bedroom a good night's sleep is essential to our health and well-being and so that's why i'm really honored to be able to collaborate with kasim and hastens a the luxurious swedish bed that has a history since night since the 1850s in order to bring this conversation about well-being our new relationship our new way of talking about what well-being really means to us uh, the company has been around since 1852 uh, and back during that time we started out as saddle makers uh, we would make saddles for some of the most no uh, noble individuals around we went from making saddles to doing beds and we started to use horsehair in the beds and it's one of the main components that we have in our beds and it, and it does a lot for the bed obviously back in those days in the back in the 1800s you know air conditioning and ventilation was pretty much non-existent 
And the benefit of horsehair is what it does is it just whisks away the moisture and it allows air to circulate um, inside uh, of the beds. And that is a very, very important attribute, especially when you're in a castle and that castle is boiling hot, you know, and you're sleeping, you know, on this bed. And most of the nobility had an opportunity to use the horsehair in their bed because they wanted to have a more comfortable sleep. In addition, horsehair is probably the best when it comes to whisking away moisture. There is not really another naturopathic product on earth that does that better than horsehair. So we have been doing that, you know, since uh, the beginning of the company and we still do it, you know, today and, and to this day. There is really no, no really natural product here on earth that does that as well as horsehair, which is why the amount of horsehair that we have in our beds is, is, is second to none. Uh, another product, a benefit of the, of the beds that we have is the use of cotton and wool. So what this will do for the client is this will add a temperature regulation to the bed so that in the summertime, you're not overheating and in the wintertime, you're not being too cold. So the cotton will absorb the moisture uh, in, the, in the body heat and the wool will maintain that temperature. So you have those elements, the horse hair that's whisking away the moisture, dropping that body temperature down, the cotton absorbing that moisture, and then the wool keeping that temperature, which will allow you to kind of stay in that position and go to sleep faster. Now this here accompanies all of the work that you have done before uh, you reached your bedtime cycle, which means to some sort of meditation, which resorts to some way of, of getting your mind in the right space. And our bed at the end kind of cements all of that. Talking about having a good night's sleep and tying into Breakthrough Inference, this is all about our well-being, our new relationship in a new eye, in this new reality, um, having been in the lockdown and the relationships that we have with all our environment. How do we have an enhanced relationship and also be able to have an enhanced rest, right? I always like to tell my friends, we are receiving so many information every day, like millions of information. Mm -hmm. And it's enough to get us, get our mind active. So we're always active. So by the time we end our day, if we are not giving ourselves that time to rest, to rest not just the mind and everything else that this information is vibrating through our physical body, it will be harder for us to have a good night's rest. My program, I tell people to, uh, to take at least a minute, sit down, take some breaths, not think of anything. Just think about it. When was the last time all of us did absolutely nothing? Actually did not think of anything. Think about it. I can't. <laughs> I, I tried that when a friend of mine said that to me 20 years ago. And I'm like, wow, it's really fascinating. Really, there's very rare chance that we do not do anything. So to this context, it's a good practice that by the end of a day, it's important for us to give ourselves, honor ourselves the time. Start with a minute or five minutes, sit on a chair or even just lie down and breathe. Breathing, breathing is a, um, the most effective way. So when people say, all right, well, how do I breathe? I'm like, okay, well, focus on your heart because everything, you know, comes from the heart, like our love comes from our heart, right? Mm -hmm. And so allowing, by allowing ourselves to be connected, just to, to be in this state of rest, then the rest of the evening, you can have a richer relationship with your loved ones. And by the time you go to bed, we are not carrying whatever that is has given us that stress from the day. And of course, I'm not saying that by one time, we are going to forget all the stress that has happened in our lifetime, but it takes a practice. Mm -hmm. So this is why 
I find this conversation uh, very interesting because sleep is the most important thing for the physical body. There's no greater function in the body when it comes to overall health, when it comes to recuperation, when it comes to, uh, to strength, when it comes to focus, then, then sleep. And right now, particularly during this time where we're in this pandemic and we're coming you know, out of lockdown, a lot of individuals had an opportunity to assess everything in their home. But in particular, as to far as where they're sleeping, a lot of people have spent more time in their beds now than they have done probably within their, within their whole lives. On our Hessens website, we were, we were sending out information about the importance of sleep and how a better night's sleep can help you reduce the amount of stress that you're going through to help you to, to, to live a better, more, more fuller life. And individuals have been very you know, receptive of that. And individuals have been asking questions about how the Heston's bed can help them get a better night's sleep and, and improve their health and, and, and their sanity. Because I'm a strong believer that when you have a great night's sleep, it not only changes you, but it changes everyone around you. You wake up feeling amazing and that energy irradiates. And here at Heston's, we have spent many years getting it right when it comes to the right materials in the beds, the layers that we put together. It has been tested in when it comes to the steel springs that we use that supports the body. So when you get in that sleeping position, it minimizes the tossing and turning that you will do, which is what you want so you can sleep longer throughout the night. It is, you know, the Swedish pine that we use for the frame of the beds that will allow the beds to be strong and sturdy so we can last generations. Also the flax that's involved. This flax is very important. It dissipates the static electricity that are in our bodies uh, that we can kind of get rid of to help our minds slow down a little bit more. So there's a lot that goes into, you know, the Heston's beds. Uh, the men and women at, at the factory in, in, in Sherping making these beds by hand, just watching them go through the process and the way that they hold their instruments, the way that they, the craft is very, it's cultivated and, it's, and it's, it's, it's repetitive over and over and over and over again to get the right alignment uh, of the bed. And it's, they're putting all of this love into the bed. So when clients come in and they get their first experience and they lie on that, that's what they're feeling. They're feeling the amazingness of all the materials, but they're also feeling the love that the amazing men and women Sherping put into those beds. Talking about alignment, during the lockdown, many of us have been taking care of our health and many of my friends I know have been working out from home. We're limited to uh, what we could do at home and I wanted to talk about this alignment of our spine, especially in relation to the bed. So I, I do yoga and Pilates. And it's important for, I know that it's important for us to make sure that we have that balance alignment. So I'm working from home like everyone else, and we're always on our computer. We have to always be in the right position so that our, our spine is not compromised. We as women, some men do as well, we carry handbags. And so we could be so automatic to adjust our body with, the, with whichever side that we hold our bag, we don't realize that our spine is compromised because we are tilted in one side. So I want you to also like talk about the, um, the way that the beds are designed that is healthy for the spinal alignment. Um, that's a very, very good question. When it comes to spinal alignment, it's very important to have that straight spine as you're sleeping because we know the spine is kind of like the highway to all of the nerves endings and it's really crucial to pretty much a great majority of the functions in the body and by having a straight spine that will allow the nerve endings to uh to to have the most information going to the different appendages of the body 
and it also helps to regulate the body temperature. It also helps to, to regulate the mind. So therefore, it, it, it slows down a little bit when you're sleeping. Now, our springs, the steel springs that we use, is very, very important to the alignment of that spine. What we do is we have the springs and we apply electricity to the inner part of that coil. And what that does is that kind of melts it. And then depending upon the tension that you want, we either add turns or we take away turns. Uh, once we've got the proper tension, we remove that electricity and then the, spur the springs become hard and they become firm. The benefit of that is that that tension will last throughout a lifetime of the bed. And a lot of individuals will try to compensate for that because we as Americans, we're programmed to get a super firm bed because it's hard trying to compensate for the fact that later on, a couple of years down the road, the springs will get softer and the bed will be at your liking. Well, we don't have to worry about that here at Heston's. At Heston's, you get that same feel now that you will get throughout the lifetime of the bed, which is why we offer the 25 year warranty on the springs. So when you couple those springs that will hold your shoulder and that will support the weight in your, in your hip as you're lying in the bed, it will cause your spine to kind of straighten out, to be in this kind of cradling position, which will allow your body to realign itself as you're sleeping. And it's the same process that we have in our minds when we're sitting in our chairs to constantly remind ourselves to sit up so our spines are straight. Well, this is one of the benefits of lying you know, in the Hessens bed, combined with those layers and those springs those that will get you into a sleep position. And then each night as you sleep, it's slowly correcting that position. And it's good to have some of those settlements in the bed because what it does is it's creating a position for you. As you're out throughout your day, you're, you're, you're doing your physical activities, your body kind of gets out of alignment uh, a little bit. But you know that when you go back into your, your bed and you lie in that, in that settlement, what it does is it's allow it's getting you back to that basic part to where your spine is straight, which is very, very important to your neural and your cardiovascular system. Before I um, to ask about, talk about the last topic here, I see that many new guests came, uh, came in to join. And again, um, I just want to have a brief overview about this, uh, this talk. Thank you for joining us. My name is Jenny Ma. I'm a real estate agent with Corcoran for 17 years. And because of the lockdown, I was inspired to write a program called Breakthrough Imprints. During the lockdown, how myself and everyone else around me have changed their views about well-being and having that balance to understanding what are causing us uh, these, these stress and worries in life that we can be in our uh, full alignment so that we can have better and richer relationships with everything else in our life. In, in this context with this, con uh, with this conversation with Hastings, our home in, this, in my world of uh, conscious living, uh, I grew up a lot heavily with feng shui in my life uh, growing up in Hong Kong. And our home is our second body. It's a, a place that gives us shelter and to sleep and to take care of ourselves and the people around us. Talking about well-being, sleep is the most important aspect of our well-being, having a good night's sleep. So the last topic I want to cover is about sustainability. Um, with the program that I wrote about well-being, in relation to well-being, it's all about how we can move ahead in life to be sustainable. Again, to be sustainable is to take, take good care of ourselves from the inside and out and not be dependent on the outside. Before the lockdown, I do know from speaking to many people, because we were all so busy and consumed with what's happening around us, we have forgotten about our physical body, our health, our well-being. And so now, stepping forward, we all realize that we are more um, taking more responsibility, I, I, I would want to say that. Like taking responsibility on our own health. 
And by doing that, that's already being sustainable because when we have our health, when we are exercising right, when we are eating right, and we are sleeping right, the less chance of us being ill and having to go to see a doctor. And that's really the basis of being sustainable. Mm -hmm. So in terms of the subject of the sustainable sustainability, Kasim, can you talk a little bit about the sustainable practice that Hastings do with uh, in, in, in the overall with the company culture? We do pride ourselves on uh, natural products in, in nature. And you know, our love of Papa, Jan, he really absorbs that. He is a very inward type of individual and he believes in meditation and he believes in, 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 in nature and what, the, in what the earth has, sharing that with other individuals. And he incorporates this in the practices that we do when it comes to sourcing uh, the materials that we use for our beds. The companies that we use have to go to a very rigorous process and has to be uh, certified and accredited by the governments. And they go to very strict inspection processes in order for them to be um, working with us. And we hold those individuals accountable if there's certain steps within the process of how they garner uh, these materials, uh, that they will be held very, very accountable for that. Because we as Estens believe in, in the beauty and the power of nature, that as we're taking from nature, we also have to, to give back, which is why we use the cotton, the horsehair, the wool, the flax, uh, and the Swedish pine in our beds because we believe that that nature gives the best and there is no one that can outdo nature. And right now we're at a point now, particularly during this pandemic and in this lockdown where mother nature has had an opportunity to kind of recover herself. You notice that through some of the ports, the ozone layer is getting a lot better. The pollution around certain countries have gotten a lot better you've noticed that the seas and the oceans have kind of cleared up a little bit better. So now it's really up to us, now that we kind of have this reset button, as far as how are we going to maintain what Mother Nature has, has recovered from. And the best way that you can do that is using natural products and also giving back you know, to nature at the end of the process. It's amazing. Yes, and I think during this lockdown has taught us to have a renewed relationship with nature. Everything is law of nature. And having that increased conscience or reconnection makes us realize to respect the place, the, land, uh, the earth that we step in. And I think this is really what life is all about, being in, you know, in gratitude to everything around us. I would like to open up uh, the floor for questions for our guests. So, Lori, would you like to start? With yes, hi, thank you so much. That was really, really enjoyable, very informative. You know, um, I, I really appreciate that, um, you know, the point that sleep is restorative. Um, and I think that that can be supported medically, that our bodies actually heal during sleep. This is a medical fact. Uh, there, there is nothing that beats a good night's sleep. It's absolutely true, Jenny. Um, it's rejuvenating, it's restorative, it's de-stressing. Right now, it's really the best weapon we have against this you know, coronavirus. I just want to also make a comment I love that how you describe Kasim the Springs and, and you know the tension that it creates. Um, I'm an interior designer. I also I do a lot of interior architecture, um, renovations, construction. And and when you create tension, what it creates is suspension. Tension creates suspension. That's why you, you know. Many bridges are called suspension bridges, and the way that they're suspended is by creating tension and compression, and then you have suspension. And um, that's very, very important. And the fact that you give a 25-year warranty 
speaks volumes for the product. I, I really appreciate that. So that when I'm trying to, um, you know, present your product to a client, that is something that I would stress very heavily is the 25 year warranty and that this is an investment purchase. You know, the horsehair um, element these days, you know, there's so much of a vegan movement and people are definitely going to ask me about the horsehair. Where do they get the horsehair? Why do they use horsehair? You know, so um, stressing that it comes from, you know, s sustainable sources, you know, cultures where, you know, horse meat is, is used, you know, it is consumed. Um, I think that the horse hair is, is from the tail. Is, am I right about that? Yes, it is from the tail, from the middle part of it. Oh, okay. So the animal is deceased when this horse hair Correct. is Correct. We, we do not slaughter or we do not kill any animals. Right. Again, we source them from countries that use them as food and in the byproduct. Right, right. So um, that's informative for me. I need to know that because my, cl I mean, I have clients that want to know that it's sustainable. And then, you know, I have a client right now that is strictly vegan. You know, for me as a designer, um, it's, it, I have to get educated. I really do, you know, with almost every product, you know, it's like, where'd this come from? Uh, you know, how old was the horse? <laughs> So, so our clients income. coming to you now, Lori, looking for beds? But definitely it's coming down the pike, for sure. I mean, bedrooms are one of my great loves. I mean, I love bedrooms and bathrooms. You know, I'm, I'm into the whole restorative, um, you know, de-stress stuff that personally, that's what floats my boat you know, as a designer, of course I do everything, but those are my favorites is bedrooms and bathrooms. And um, I just kind of want to be armed, you know, for, with information. We're happy know, for, you came, thank time. you so much. Yeah, we're happy you came. And I just want to let you know that we have uh, lots of individuals from Hessens on this call here. And, you oh. know, I'm an individual that loves sharing, you know, so um, if, if you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to let one of my okay, colleagues to, to answer for you. Not a problem. Yeah. Great. Thank one you so much. I, thank you, Lori. Mm -hmm. One question I, I don't know whether you already mentioned. I love the fact that you shared me a story that um, the beds are passed on to the next generation and there's this topper. Can you talk about that a little? Or yes, yes. You, you know what? Um, I have Barbara who is at our Soho location and she uh, is very seasoned in this. So I would love for Barbara to explain that. Can you explain the passing on with the beds? Hi, Barbara. Thanks for being with us. Hi, Barbara. Thank you. <laughs> so yes, I had a couple of true stories because so the bed has uh, the top portion is basically not attached to the bed or the mattress for one reason. So you can replace it after eight, 10 years when it's kind of done. Also in between generation exchanges, that's what you kind of leave. So true story, many years ago, I had a Swedish high school student coming to the shop in California where I was working at the time. And he had actually as a graduation gift gotten his grandparents Hester's bed, but with a new topper on it. So it really happens. Um, okay. Also, I've had a couple of situations where it's kind of becomes a question who's going to get the bed, you know, later on, you know, if you have a fantastic Hessens bed, I actually had that question. So uh, furthermore, Hessens have done studies in Sweden to done a little inventory of what's going out, what, what we have out there on the market. And there are beds close to hundred years old still being used. Wow. Uh, so it's a product that you get for time and it's not something that you're going to throw out. So a lot of the daily conversation with designers, for example, it's a long-term purchase. Don't buy a twin bed for your child. Do a twin extra long so you can use it as a guest bed down the line. Mm -hmm. If you do a queen right away, you are set for life for that child, you know. So they're all kind of practical considerations because of the longevity of the product. With us. Michael is a friend from Florida. No questions. I just am fascinated with the technology and everything that you're doing. Good to... Uh... 
become aware of it. So thank you for sharing it. Um, and we want to make sure that clients, you know, have the best night's sleep possible. And we want to make sure that our customer service is consistent across all of the stores. So you will get a consistent experience no matter which Hessens that you come to here in the New York area. And your clients will get an amazing experience, you know, as well. So we here at Hessens in the New York area, you know, we welcome everyone and we give everyone uh, the best experience possible when it comes to the sleep industry. Uh, one last thing I want to mention. In Boca Raton? Uh, yes, we do have a store in, in Boca Raton. Um, what I can do is I can get you that information and send that to you uh, after this particular segment. Yeah, I think it's in Meisner Park. I think I walk past it. I'll have to walk in there. Okay. And one last thing I want to cover is um, safety. I sell real estate in Manhattan and now we just reopened in phase two. And for people's health and safety, there are now new regulations of what we should inform our client and the different kind of forms that they uh, need to sign and our owners to be a, to make sure that their homes have been disinfected. So when we are inviting a, um, a tenant or a buyer to come through our listing, we want them to make sure to feel that they're feel, they, they feel safe and taken care of. So now I understand people come into your showroom and test the bed. Kasim, can you tell a little, tell us a little bit about the steps that you, you have, your company has taken just to, so that we can share to the audience? Yeah, the absolutely. Process. And since I'm such a great team player, I have my amazing boss, Meg Khan here, um, on this call here. And she has, been working with the team to come up with an amazing program in order for the stores to reopen. And I would like for her to have an opportunity to answer that question for you. That's great. Hi, Meg. Thanks for sharing. How are you? Thanks for How are you? Being nice here. to see you. Thank you so much for, for, you know, collaborating with us and working so closely with us. We, we truly find your way of working an inspiration because you are so creative and innovative. Um, and, you know, what happens to be, you know, a tough time. And, and, and I know that this is something that you have been doing in your career, as we have spoken about when we've met in person um, for a long time, but you've really just so easily adapted to the current situation and using technology and Zoom uh, and virtual meetings to, to, you know, continue the work that you do. So thank you for that. Um, we found it very, very inspiring. Um, to, I guess, to answer the question about, um, you know, reopening the stores during this time, you know, it's really just been a process of, you know, the, the team that's, that you see, uh, here today, we've been working really, really closely from home. Uh, we work together every day. We meet every day, just uh, both on a personal and a professional level to check in with each other and see how we're doing and what's doing and how we're feeling. But because it's, it's, it's always about the people, right? It's always about the people that you work with and the relationships that you have. And I think that's really been the fundamental principle uh, that we've been living and working by over the last few months. And that just kind of was a natural progression to our clients, right? That um, it's all about relationships and, and trust and, 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 and people. And so we've extended what, what we already know and we already do and feel in our own, in our own work environment to our, to our clients, just to reach out and say, hey, how are you, I'm thinking about you. How are you doing? How are you feeling? Is your family well and safe? Not a sales pitch, but, 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 but really genuinely caring about the people that we know that we work very, very closely with. Um, how are your kids, the grandkids, and, and, and all of that. And so that's really been the first, the most important um, part of, of working in this time. And, and I think the second most important thing is, is 
educating our, not only discussing, uh, you know, amongst our, our, our immediate group of colleagues, but, but even with our customers talking about the importance of sleep, about the immune system, about rest, about healing. Uh, we've extended that into our lifestyle about mindfulness and meditation. Uh, Barbara hosted an event with a, a well-known lifestyle and, mind, and, and, and mindfulness coach uh, who happens to be Swedish. And we sort of extended uh, you know, some of those kinds of virtual events uh, along those lines as you are doing today, talking about the benefits of, of health and well-being and sleep and rest and sustainability. And so we've done that, you know, by communicating with our clients through these virtual events. And as we started to, you know, work our way through this quarantine and, and seeing that there was a light at the end of the tunnel and phase one reopening in New York, ultimately leading to phase two, we took the necessary steps very slowly, very carefully, very cautiously uh, with our, uh, our team and our clients uh, at the forefront of every, every thought, every decision that we were making in terms of reopening the stores. And that meant, you know, uh, really cleaning and sanitizing the stores and providing all of the necessary PPE and uh, disinfecting protocols and, and guidelines that we would establish and what those guidelines would be and, um, and, and, and training and educating the, the, the team as to what we're gonna do and how we're gonna do it, uh, making sure that everyone felt comfortable, reducing our hours so that uh, the team could get to work to and from safely, safely with minimal exposure. Um, and really providing the best environment for the clients for everybody's well-being. And so we've taken it very slowly, very carefully, and uh, we eased into it and we'll continue to ease into it and adapt and be flexible because that's really super important in these times. But we'll, we'll, we'll be flexible and we'll, we'll, be, we'll adapt and we'll be proactive. Uh, that's one thing I think that we've been along the way too is we've been proactive in, in making decisions uh, so that it's in everybody's best interest. Uh, we're mindful and respectful of each other, and, and, and that seems to be uh, an amazing way to be. So, and, and that's because we have a great, great team. And so for that, I'm truly thankful. Um, I do have a question about the topper. If you change out the topper on the mattress, do you come to the client to do that, or do they have to give up their mattress and you come and take it out of their home? How does that happen? Well, we send a service team, a very trained uh, team that is very knowledgeable uh, about the beds, about the maintenance of the beds, um, and about how to maneuver the beds. So our team will come out, can come out to replace the topper but actually it is quite simple. Uh, you can just okay. take the topper, roll it, put it in uh, uh, some type of box or some type of bag and then remove it from the home. So it's a very simple process. And just as my colleague Barbara had mentioned that um, this topper here can be replaced every eight to 10 years. Okay, great. So it's pretty, it's, it's very simple process. Yes, it's, it, it's very simple. Okay. I think and it also allows um, the service team to kind of come over and take a look at the bed. Perhaps the bed may need to be massaged. The mattress may need to be flapped, I'm sorry, flipped, mm -hmm. rotated. And the team mm -hmm. can, can, can do that. The team can also oh. show the clients how to do that, you know, as well, oh, which is very, great. very important. Because that's just like great. anything that's worth value, it has to be maintained. And maintenance is involved in the bed, but it's not something very cumbersome. Um, to do. Again, our service team goes out, they do it. They would be more than happy to show the clients how to do it, you know, on their own. That's wonderful. It's almost like concierge service for your bed, you know, so that's, that's very appealing. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, before pleasure. we wrap, there's a couple of things I'd like to mention. Um, first, Meg, you pointed out something really interesting on how um, the way that we are communicating the way that we are communicating with our clients because of the lockdown has changed. And I appreciate you mentioning that. 
I was curating events, live events. And now when I was subsequently, because I wrote this program about breakthrough imprints and I thought, wow, this would be a great way to talk about something that is so important in everyone's life now is well-being. And so I did manage to adapt and, and try to find ways to connect people through a conversation that is educational and everything that is surrounding about well-being. So I think that coming to that, it's like the way that we are doing business has really changed. It's no longer the old way. And again, that's why this is a whole new reality for all of us. And we may not, all of us, we may not know how it's going to be yet until it unfolds. It's like a learning process for all of us now, right? With you guys, you, with Hastings, the customers need to come through your store in order to experiment the bed to find out what is the right bed for them. So this is going to be a whole new relationship, not just relationship, but in a whole new way of servicing our clients, just like I am with my real estate, mm -hmm. right? It's, it's, you're hundred percent right. It's, it's really about adapting. It's being flexible and adapting. It's about being creative, thinking outside of the box. Right. Um, and it's all about relationship building and maintaining. It's all about the people and it's all about the service, right? That's, that's what makes a difference. And when clients have, trust in you because you genuinely care and you have a relationship. Those are the people that they want to work with. Those are the people they trust. Um, it, it's, it's, it's really as simple and, and, and as fundamental as, as, as that, right? Cause the walk in traffic is going to, is going to be slow. The real estate market's going to be slow. I think for some, for the designers, you know, I think people are really investing more in their homes and that's, that's, you know, an opportunity there. Um, and so we just have to continue to be creative about how we meet new people and that's networking and virtual events or private appointments. Um, it's collaborations, um, associations and affiliations, uh, and, you know, service. Yeah. yeah. And we did happen to um, sell a few beds uh, without individuals coming in to the store. And a lot of that had to do with our expertise and having the opportunity to go to Sweden and I remember going through that experience and even now spending time with these amazing beds. As I look at the beds that's in front of me, as I look at them, I already know how that bed is going to feel. So I had an opportunity to, to do a sale to a customer, you know, sight unseen, you know, and, and, and taking my expertise and taking my word and buying the bed. And it's because of the amount of time that we spend with these beds and in these beds, we're able to articulate that. And I think that goes to a long way to the amount of training that Hessens provides for its employees. The training is ongoing, it's continuous in order for us to really absorb um, the functionalities and, and, and the quality of, of the beds. And I believe that this, this training that we have, I haven't been with a company that trained as much as Hessens does. So when clients come into the stores, it's part of the experience that they get because we're so excited that I know you come to my store and I can't wait for you to experience how awesome this bed is going to be. And we communicate that. And I think that's something that the other competitors, they really can't compete on that level because of the amount of training that we have with our, in our beds. Yeah, knowledge is really more, much more important now, I think. And it's just a part of our duty and our responsibility in what we do, just like, um, you know, in our real estate. And that's why I'm really grateful to be with Corcoran. I've been with Corcoran, this is my 17 year now. 
and we are constantly being updated with the training with the way it's really communication with technology because technology plays a big part now in what we do and i want to leave this conversation uh, to thank all of you and especially uh, Kasim for introducing me to Hastings and, and to be able to collaborate to have this conversation, not just here, but to share with our audience about the new reality, not just in real estate. I just also want to share with everyone as we are doing our part to help everyone around us to be at our best and highest in everything that we do, let's not forget ourselves. Even I practice it every day and sometimes I catch myself, I'm like, where am I in this equation? I'm not present. And so my program, uh, Breakthrough Imprints, talks about how important it is to be present, not just to being present to be here, but to be present to how we feel, to be present in how we are in communication with the people around us. But once we have our interior organized by meditating, by understanding what, what takes us away from being present, from past emotions or stress, and of course we talked about how meditation is important, and for the audience who, uh, and I've spoken to many people, they think meditation is boring. But in fact, the way that I see meditation, it's as important as having food and water to nourish our physical, uh, biological body. In that we can only do that by, being, by quieting our mind, by meditation, by understanding what causes us not to be present in what we do. And the more we practice that, the more we can be more in tune. First is to have a richer relationship in ourselves and with the people around us. Mm -hmm. And imagine once we get that and everybody has that, we can see a world of more harmony and creativity, because that comes from creativity. And being locked down, the economy suffering, I think we can use this time to become present to the reality of now and how we can make a better world for the people around us, but remembering that it all starts from us. Well said, Jenny. Well said, Jenny. It's, it all starts with us. You know, um, I'm old school, so I'm a strong believer in, in, in each one teach one. And if there is something that we have within ourselves that we can share with, with one another that's coming from a, 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 a place of sincerity, a, a place of generosity and, and, and a sense of, of gratitude to share that. Thank you guys so much for joining. I appreciate it. All right. For the audience. The next time your clients or your friends are looking for a bed, remember Haskins and my friend here, Cassie Morris, and I will be at uh, message me and I will put you in touch to have to invite you to come over to test the beds and to learn more about Haskins bed. Thank right. you again I will for everyone. Do that. Thank for you for being here with us. And for this opportunity, again, I'm really grateful to Hastings and Kasim for this, uh, for this time together. We hope to see you again yeah. soon. Thank you so much. We look forward Thank to you guys. seeing you soon.